All right, Shalom, Shalom. First off, I want to give all honor and glory to Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, Bahasham, Racha, Hakodash, Longum Yom. With Yahweh being the true name of the Heavenly Father, who the world calls God, and Yahweh Shai being the true name of the Lord and Savior, nation of Israel, who the world ignorantly calls Jesus Christ. I want to give double honors to my apostles, elders, and bishops of Great Millstone, who rule well. And I also want to say peace and blessing to the Lord's elect. All right, this is Brother Michelle. Come back and shoot a, uh, another pre camp and trans lesson to the Spirit of Yahweh Bashim Al Shai. Representing Cleveland Church of Great Millstone. I want to say the Wadi Yahweh Bashim Al Shai. Forgive me, Spirit, through this lesson. And uh, just a quick, a quick topic um, uh, about the image of our Lord, Yahweh Shai. All right, and why the image matters. Okay, why the image matters. You know, because you hear uh, a lot of. Uh, uh, Christians and, and, and uh, you know people say well why does the, the the color of the Lord matter you know and it, and it does matter you know because see how I said that he that, that believeth on me as the scripture have, have said out of his belly shall flow uh, rivers of living water all right so you have to believe on the, on on Yahweh Shai as the scriptures describe him man. okay and when you when you think about it too, if if, if color or what the Lord didn't look like didn't matter, then why, uh, you know, then why is it a problem when, you know, when you pull out the scriptures about what the Lord looks like, okay, about him being a dark skinned man, woolly hair, you know, things like that, you know, because if color didn't matter, then they would just describe him how the Bible described him, right? But that's that's not it's not it's not, that's not going to happen. You see that they're not going to be able to explain or, or or say nothing like that, you know, because nowhere in the Bible does it says that our Lord is is, is uh, uh, has leprosy with, with with blue eyes and 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 and, uh, and stringy hair. All right. So if color if color didn't matter, what the Lord looked like didn't matter, then they would just uh, depict them as what the Bible said he would look like. You know, but it's, that's not going to happen because of. Who, who runs the world, right? And who's uh, who uses deception to uh, to ensnare the minds of the people? You see, so these things uh, uh, have to happen, man. You know, the scripture says that that um, in Revelation the thirteenth chapter that um, that he's, he that he uh, you know um, blasphemes, you know, the ones in heaven, you know, the angels. You know what I'm saying? It's men. You know? that th These are uh, blasphemous images, man. Okay? When they when they got uh, the Most High Yahweh touching the finger, I believe it's uh, supposedly of, uh, of King David. Supposedly, you know, they rise out, little shriveled up rides, touching the fingers. That's all uh, 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 Roman garbage, man. All right, that's not what the scriptures describe the Lord Yahweh in the in our in and Yahweh Shai at. Uh, there's nowhere that 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 description is nowhere found in the scriptures, man. You see, because when you read Daniel the seventh, the seventh chapter, it even tells you how to uh, it gives you a description of uh, what the Most High Yahweh looks like, right? It says he has a a a, 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 a white garment and, uh, and and woolly hair. Because Yahweh Shai came in the image of his father. You know, so details matter, man. You know, Esau tries to sweep the, the, the details under the rug, man, the small stuff, right? And then he paints this big, broad picture of, uh, you know, universe, universality, universality, you know, all inclusion. That's what the word uh, Catholic means, universal. So this is why they give you the image. You know, that's part of uh, white supremacy, man. So-called white supremacy. But it really is Edomite supremacy. All right, that that, uh, that, that, that head that was wounded to death, right? The Romans are revi re, uh, revived again, man, and reborn again. And now they're back again. All right, but the beast system was revived through who? Or head. The, the, uh, the Spanish head. Okay, because of of uh, of uh, Queen Isabella and King Ferdinand, you know, commissioned uh, Cristobal Colon, who the, who the word Italy calls Christopher Columbus, you know, to uh, to go to the Americas because they had the apocrypha. 
You know what I'm saying? They read where the Northern Kingdom uh, tribes were at over here in the, in the so-called New World. They knew how that they got over here, right? All those things were were uh, utilized, and uh, and um, and in the in in the in the journey was accomplished, man. Okay, through the power of Yahweh Bashem Al to, to in order to uh, to uh, to fulfill prophecy. All right. So these things, uh, uh, you know, had to happen. Our, our images had to be wiped away. You know, Esau had to portray himself as the people of the Lord, man. He had to portray himself as our Messiah, right? As the Most High. That all had to be biblical prophecy in order to show us who the wicked is, man. Okay? When you read 2 Thessalonians, it says, then, then, that, then shall that wicked be revealed. Right? We had to fall away first. You know, at 70 AD, we had to completely lose our heritage. And now through the spirit of Yahweh Bashem and the, uh, through the form of the Comforter, right, we're able to rise back up in the latter days and the things that were uh, were hidden for so long is now being declared, man. Okay, so we're able to tell you that the Edomites are still here. We're able to tell you that, that uh, you know, um, that Yahweh Shai isn't uh, uh, doesn't look like our slave master, man. You see, and that uh, all this is just to keep Jake docile and and and, and lucid, man. You know, and in a state of uh, 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 sympathy, sympathizing with with our oppressor, man. When you look at them as as God, man. When you look at them as a deity. You see, these things are are, are, are set up by Esau, man. Because the scripture says that he, he accomplishes a diligent search. You see? So with that with that diligent search, he knows how to he knows how to maneuver, man. He knows how to manipulate. You know, he, he, when you read Genesis, the spirit of, of of the serpent, right, is an Esau, man. The spirit of Cain is in Esau. The wicked, the the uh, the the wicked spirit, man, the the the, the uh, deceiving spirit. Esau is all about deception and, and witchcraft, and those images that, that he gave us are witchcraft. Something to, to uh, that's designed to, uh, uh, you know, uh, manipulate you and pull you away from the truth. All right, but through the mercy of Yahweh Bashem Shai, we're able to. Uh, uh, receive the, the real truth, man. Right? Because in Daniel, uh, the 12th chapter, uh, it says, you know, to seal up the book until the time of the end because knowledge shall be increased. You see? So now we're able to, to go through the history books and see this damn devil and what he did. And what he did you know? And how he came into power. All these things are being exposed because Esau's skirt is being lifted. And now he's not able to hide himself. He's not able to hide himself under the image of, of, of Caesar Borges. Okay, which is the, the, the image of so-called uh, Jesus. Right? He was able to hide himself behind those, those images, man. The uh, the Renaissance painters. Commis uh, you know, commissioned by the, uh, 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 you know, uh, kings. To paint themselves in their likeness. All right, so these things had to happen, and then in, in the latter days, only a certain uh, only a certain group of men, women, and children are going to understand and come out of that man, and call this and call it out, call this devil out for what he is, man, a, a, a thief and a liar and a robber, man. All right, and it starts and it starts with that with that image. It's not the image of the beast; it's just the image that they gave us to to, to bow down to and to worship, man. When the scripture says in our law. That you know, um, not to uh, uh, pe uh, in Revel uh, it's like in Exodus twenty, the twentieth chapter, not to paint any any likeness in the in the heavens, or in the earth, or under the earth, to bow down or to rear up to worship. You see, so they gave you that image. They beat it into you. They made you 
call on that name. If you didn't, you got your, your rod cut off, right? If you didn't, you got your children sold to other plantations. You got, you know, your women, uh, when the slave master got, uh, you know, uh, had his, had his, had, had his partners over, he got, he got, your women got gang raped. All right, castrated, you know, all type of wickedness, man. And that's what that image did, man. And that's what that image still does to this day. All right, so Lord Witness Lesson was edifying. I want to give all honor, glory, and infinite worship to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Recha, Hakodash, Long of Yom. Double honors to the apostles, elders, and bishops, great millstone who rule well. So the next time I say, Shalom.